Yeah, you know, <coughs> that was one photo. It's the last of them that's needed more. The shot, because an iPod screen's only this big though, don't they? But yeah. if it's if it's all five of them, it needs to be like a fucking yeah, like, tight five shot. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah, exactly. You count stuff with this movie is that minimal, minimal, minimal coverage. And so even seeing six in front of the gate, I think is maybe two shots. What handheld is that you can? Uh, no, off the, off the head. Like very, right. very, very John Carpenter, the thing inspired, I think. But so I can't well, shoot 11 shots. No, okay, but yeah. so tell me that though. So are, are we seriously trying to do <coughs> scene seven as a magic hour shot? Uh, so scene let's, six. Let's, well, no, it's six and seven, because what they do is uh, they arrive, they get out of the <laughs> car, and then they start shooting and mucking about. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got, we've got um, scene, part scene six, yeah. with them asleep and Kyle turning off the ignition. That can be, um, if that's tight enough, that can be just a little bit before Magic Hour. Yep. Okay, but it's still in low level ambience once the sun's kind of just hitting the horizon. Yep. Um, yeah. It's the good um, tree coverage. And it just... Not really, not at the front of the gate. It's not It's right. not awesome. I'm just thinking, it's not definite yet, yeah. but I'm just thinking because it starts off on his face here, yeah. and then he's... Oh, actually, no, the hand will come in and grab it from there, but then it'll probably go out of shot. Because he's staying on his face as he as the foot pushes his head into the ground and then it goes... And I reckon the shot's going to be so tight that the only time you'll see it is when he grabs it and turns the head around. This is the section where we'd like to do the graveyard set piece so that we get those trees in the background there. So that is... Uh, so that's Lloyd for you and for uh, keeping track. Um, that scene's 95 part and 99 part. This is also, though, where we need to discuss the whole issue of rain since uh, it's been volunteered by production that you guys do this one for us. So. Yeah, well, I mean, right here would be fine then. What about the angle? Check with, uh... Dick Winden. No. Just uh, trying to position the, um, the piece for the graveyard. I would say. Four feet apparently. Deep off the park. Off oh, fourth? Yeah. So that's not six. No. So that means. How tall is Pitch? Do we know how tall he is? Tom's walking along in the forest and he comes across Maddie, who's been dragged off by uh, Mandible's brother. Um, he gets the axe and dies. She then wakes up to find Tom next to her, headless. She hears scuffling off in the forest. She gets up and races off from this position here. That's right. I mean, you can still light it up, but what you're really going to see is the undersides of trees. So dense. Yeah, yeah. You're never going to see anything out there. Yeah, that effectively does not work. Okay. Yep. Unless we do it Saturday, Sunday, have a Monday off. It'd be great if we could pull a day out of this stuff. We can. You can walk around this whole thing. Yeah. Back out of the out of the bridge on the Saturday. Yeah. So yeah. Basically had them starting up there, we'll follow them through around here, stop, listen, then they can walk forward a bit, get to here and sort of go, what the hell, and then she comes stumbling out of there. You know, probably meet up in this little patch here and then bolt off down there. Yes, yeah.